I want to tell you what common mistakes happen and what you shouldn't do when growing petunia. It's a Sprouted Seeds YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. So common mistakes, trusting colorful packages. The information on the vibrant seed packages is not entirely reliable. The qualities of the plants are frequently overstated by the manufacturers. Ordinary petunias may be labeled as hybrids or ampelis varieties. Purchasing professional seeds from specialized stores is the best option. Covering seeds with soil. Petunia seeds require sunshine to sprout. Therefore, avoid covering the seeds with soil while planting. The seeds could not sprout at all if they are covered. Using unprepared soil. In order to prevent fungal diseases, it is advised to treat the soil before sowing. Apply remedies as well to get rid of soil pests. Young plants may be harmed by the influence of germs and pests. Placing seedlings in direct sunlight. It is not advisable to lay delicate seedlings in direct sunlight, particularly on windowsills facing south. Young plants might be harmed by intense sunshine. When there is little daylight during the winter, use artificial lighting for plants. Incorrect fertilizer application. It's crucial to apply fertilizer in the correct order. Petunias require fertilizers to establish their root system after first transplantation. Use nitrogen fertilizers to encourage green mass growth when a robust bush has established and then potassium phosphorus fertilizers to encourage flowering. Transplanting into inappropriate containers. Petunias should not be moved into excessively small or large containers. The roots will take too long to fill the area in large containers and they cannot grow effectively in small ones. 200 to 300 milliliters is the ideal volume for transplanting, after which bigger pots should be used. Overusing pinching. A luscious bush can be formed by pinching, but don't pinch too much. The plant might require additional pinching if it was sown early, in December or January. On the other hand, excessive pinching can prevent the plant from developing properly if it is sown later in March. Using small pots for Ampelus varieties. For rich flowering, Ampelus petunias require a lot of soil volume. A pot should be at least 10 or 12 liters. Certain types might even need 30 to 40 liters. You only need a 3 liter pot for bush petunias. Overwatering. If you are afraid that the petunia will dry out, you start watering very often and intensively, without waiting for the soil to dry out. As a result, the roots stop breathing and absorbing water and nutrition. Improper watering. Insufficient watering causes the petunia to dry out. If after this you water it excessively, you can get this result. The lower leaves dry out and the plant becomes bare. Flowers may remain at the end. To correct the situation, you need to cut off all the bare petunia, then it will grow green mass again. It is better to do this before the beginning of August. These pointers can help you cultivate petunias without making typical blunders and enjoy their gorgeous blossoms all season long.